Hi there, I'm Greg Graham from Green Ideas Magazine. This is my daughter Birdie. I thought we'd just show you today how we made a really simple aquaponic system at home. So I'll just show you the basics of how I put it together and then afterwards uh, a few of the things I would have done differently. So the idea behind aquaponics is that you're uh, connecting a fish pond um, with growing beds that have edible plants in them and there's a sort of natural balance between the two where the fish um, are excreting you know, pooing and peeing in the water, and that's being converted by natural bacteria into nitrogen, which are, which is used by the plants to grow. So, I've put together a really simple little setup here, and I thought I'd uh, just show you how it works. Hopefully, you can see the my little fishies there um, feeding away. And then, if we look up and look through the lotus leaves, we can see a little um, fountain pouring into the fish pond. So, I'll give you a proper look at that fish pond. Just a, again, a really simple, um, quite small fish pond that I made myself out of a, um, an old uh, wine barrel that someone gave me. And uh, there's the top of it, which we just cut off, and that's now our uh, little frog pond, which is really fun. And I've connected the fish pond. I just, we had this for a while, and then I decided I could um, connect it to some growing beds uh, with a nice little uh, system of pipes and, and a very simple solar pump. So. What you're seeing here is the input. So as the sun shines, and actually funnily enough a cloud's just gone over the sun there and that's stopped. But as the sun shines, a little solar pump pushes water up from the growing beds out that pipe. Then we'll go around and have a look and that is the outlet pipe. So I'll go over the top and give you a look. So that's the slightly messy looking um, input there. It's just a plastic pipe from Mitre 10. Um, and as the water fills up, that uh, outlet pipe flows out there, goes down this pipe here, you can see it's flowing now, goes down this pipe and goes into the top growing bed. I'll give you a look at those growing beds, just three of them uh, on the steps of our deck. And as you can see, there's a little overflow pipe from each one that flows into the one below it. So they're kind of just staggered down there. Now I got those from um, just a shop that sells plastic boxes, measured the space available on the deck and chose some reasonably strong ones, a kind of softer plastic that I'll be able to drill holes in without making it crack. Uh, and then I've just filled them with stones, which I brought and uh, bought and cleaned up a wee bit from um, gardening centres. So let's have a little close look. So as you can see the water's flowing in there. Um, and then there's this overflow pipe here. Which as this as this one as this bed fills up with water, it flows into here. And then of course as this one fills up, there's another pipe here that overflows. And then this one um, sort of has an overflow pipe that goes nowhere, that's really um, that's to stop it uh, filling up too far, so if it rains a lot. Um, and I, I can actually just turn that down so that it um, you know, can control the level at which it sort of overflows. But the main way that water gets out of this bottom bed is through a little solar pump here, which I bought uh, off Trade Me for about 100 bucks. Now that's connected to the solar panel, which is um, propped up on what's technically called a half a brick and that pumps away the water flows through that pipe there and into that inflow and, and the sun's coming out a little bit now so I can see now it's filling up so it's just a nice little cycle the water goes um, round and round and round the fish uh, do their thing in the water and then the, um, the water flows into the growing beds and hopefully the plants clean the water by um, extracting the nitrogen out of it. Now I've, I don't know how well it's going to work, but um, it's a bit of a, an experimental home job, but I sowed some um, just home homegrown lettuce seeds in there. And as you can see, they're kind of starting to grow up and do their thing. So I'm not sure if it's too late in the season for lettuces, but we hopefully will have a few lettuces. I've transplanted a rather scraggly looking uh, mint plant, which is actually putting up new shoots, so that's promising, and a couple of basil seedlings seem to be doing well and then we've got a little some slightly miserable looking coriander which hopefully will establish 
And here I've um, put some kale in which got completely blitzed by the sun in the first few days and then has managed to put down roots. I'm getting some nice new green growth there. So fingers crossed that it works and it's not partic anything particularly sophisticated. Uh, and it was actually extremely straightforward to build. Well, uh, those pipes here were just from a, like I said, a hardware store. Um, and then I got a drill bit which matched the diameter of the pipes, the external diameter, not the internal diameter. And uh, used that to drill those holes there. Used a little silicon rubber to seal it. Well, I don't strictly think that was that necessary. Uh, and then it was just a matter of kind of planning where to put things. So. So that's the basic system, it's really straightforward and I think you could pretty much design it however you wanted. Um, but a few things I would have done differently. Um, the way I did my system, it, it's sort of gravity fed from the, um, from the fish up the top with the water flowing down to the growing beds below. Um, and that's different from most people who actually have the growing beds above the fish tank which would sit underneath and you might have your growing beds on a table, a nice strong table. The, um, the disadvantage to that system is then the weight of the plants has to be held up high. My note is sitting on the deck, so weight isn't an issue. But if you've got growing beds up high on a table, which is the more conventional and probably more sensible way to do it, um, you need to think about the weight of what you're growing your plants in. So usually you would need to use something like, um, I think people use expanded clay balls which are um, full of air pockets and they're lighter, uh, they work better as a growing medium. Um, but because we happen to have this fish pond here and then we had some ground beneath it, I figured we could use gravity to just to flow the water down and that, that's really worked well for me because I've used um, cheaper, um, just regular old stones from um, a garden centre, I bought them by the bag. And um, I was feeling very smug, but there's something silly that I haven't thought about. You want to go down here? Well, let's have a look down here, because this is where my little problem with the system is. Um, as I lose water through evaporation, the losses kind of accumulate in the bottom. So, um, obviously these flow down to the next one once the water fills up. So this always stays at the same level. This always stays at the same level. But this one, the pump just keeps going and going and going and pumping. So if it's going not being... And pumping. That's right, it keeps going and pumping. So if I'm losing water through evaporation, then this tends to pump itself dry, um, and then the whole system Pumper. comes, comes, to, a, comes to a halt. Um, halt. So halt. if you had your fish underneath your growing beds, um, you, you'd have a bigger buffer, you'd have deeper water, and the fish don't mind if they're losing a little bit of that buffer. To, um, uh, to evaporation. Whereas here, if I lose a bit of my buffer, then the plants dry out and there's not enough water in the system, just because I've got a shallower tray. So I've tried to fix that by filling this to the brim with rocks and having more water in there. But in hindsight, I would have had a, a nice big deep reservoir of water here so that I could leave it for three weeks or something and it wouldn't really matter if I lost a bit of water, there'd still be enough water to cover the top of the pump. Mommy. And I think that's it from our aquaponic system. Thanks for watching.